And in this video, you guys are going to be breaking down the Raptors upcoming game versus the New York Knicks tonight. I guess I should say today it's a matinee game coming up 12.30 Pacific time, 3.30 Eastern time. I also got a little bit of afternoon basketball on this fine Sunday, you guys. Hope everybody had a safe and happy New Year's. Obviously getting started off into the 2022 year now. Um, good start for the Raptors anyways on New Year's Eve. They're getting that victory against the LA Clippers. Nice to see the full squad out there. Looking like the Raptors are starting to get back healthy and ready to roll for a push to the playoffs here in the second half of the season, you guys. Uh, right, real quick before we start breaking down this game preview between the Raptors and the Knicks, if you can go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for sporting content like this in the near future. We've been getting a lot of support lately, you guys, and I greatly appreciate it. We're going to keep coming out with as much content as possible for you guys. Uh, but without further ado, let's go, go ahead and start breaking down this game preview between the Raptors and the Knicks coming up tonight. Raptors are sitting at a 15-17 and 17, uh, record on their season. Knicks are sitting at a 17-19 and 19 record. Now, we'll break down some of the injury report to start off here, you guys, starting off with the Raptors. Nice to see that injury list definitely getting cut down uh, comparatively to the last couple of games that we've been dealing with. Obviously, our first healthy game was against the Clippers there. A couple games before that, we were scrambling, trying to find people to put out on the floor. Obviously, using a bunch of those 10-day contract players um, to fill some of the holes and the voids uh, within our roster with all the guys that were out with protocols. So it's nice to have mo most of the guys back here. Uh, looks like DJ Wilson just entered protocol, so he's going to be out for tonight's matchup here, um, which is unfortunate as he's on a 10-day contract. I really hope that the Raptors sign him for the rest of the season. The dude's been outstanding uh, coming in on his 10-day for us, um, helping out the Raptors uh, while we've been shorthanded here. Um, so hopefully we can keep this guy around. I'd like to see him get a contract extension for the rest of the season. Um, Drogic is a game-time decision for his personal matters. I would expect him not to be a not to be playing uh, once again this evening. I've been hearing reports as well that he's possibly going to be going back to Miami. Um, we might just end up buying out his contract here possibly. Not too sure what's going to happen with all that. We'll have to kind of keep updated and see see where everything uh, lands with the Drogic situation. Obviously hasn't worked out very well for the Toronto Raptors this season. Um, the guy really has not played very much basketball for us. Um, he's been a healthy scratch in a lot of the games. And then obviously the personal issues came up. And he ended up taking some time off for the last, I don't know, what it's been, you guys. It's been about a month or two now that he's taken some personal time off. Um, so he, it's a game time decision. I would be very, very shocked if he sees any time out on the floor tonight. Um, then you got Scotty Barnes, you guys. He's a game time decision as well with that knee tendonitis. Um, I would expect him to probably play tonight. I would expect him to get out there and get in some, get some shots up, get some time out on the floor. Maybe not have a 30 or 35 minute night because he hasn't played in a little bit, a little bit of a while. Um, but I could see him getting a good solid 25 minutes out there tonight if he is a go. Um, hopefully we have him back in the fold. If we do have Gary or uh, Scotty Barnes back in the fold here, you guys, which pretty much gives us all of our main roster back, uh, minus missing a couple back-end pieces, but that's not a huge deal. As David Johnson will also be out for tonight's game with that ailing calf injury that he's been dealing with for the last little while here. Um, so not too bad on the injury front for the Toronto Raptors. Like I said, it was a lot worse a couple days ago when we were still dealing with all the guys on protocol. Looking a lot better now for the team. Um, over on the New York Knicks, they got a lot of injuries they're dealing with. Quite a few guys in protocol right now. Not nearly as many as the Raptors were dealing with when we were going through a little stint of bullshit there. Um, but nonetheless, they got a lot of big-time names out. This should be a sealed victory for the Raptors here as long as we don't play down to our competition, you guys. Um, yeah, so the Knicks got Derek Rose out with an ankle injury. That's a big-time loss for them. He's one of their best bench players, obviously. Uh, Kemba Walker, who's come, come into form in the last couple of weeks, had some big-time performances for the New York Knicks. He's also going to be out this matchup with a knee injury. Then you got Evan Fournier, who's been a decent signing for them this season. Um, he's a game-time decision with an ankle injury. Nerlens Noel is out. He's in protocols, one of their centers. Um, Julius Randle, their starting power forward. One of the stars of the team, he's also going to be out for t today's game. He's in protocols. And then you got their center, Mitchell Robinson, um, who's a young stud in the league. He's also out in protocol. Um, so those, th those last three are pretty big-time names. Obviously, uh, Rose and Walker, your two point guards, are going to be out as well. Um, so this should be hands down a victory for the, for the Toronto Raptors, like I said, as long as we don't play down to our competition. Obviously, we have the better squad that's going to be rolling out there on paper today because we got most of our guys back, whereas the New York Knicks are missing a lot of key players um, for today's game. So this should be in the Raptors' favor all the way through here, you guys. The only way we lose this one, in my opinion, like I said, is if we play down to the competition um, and just go out there and play an absolute stinker of a game, um, which shouldn't happen, right? We should be getting on a little bit of a roll here. It's a new year. 
getting into the second half of the season. This is where you separate the men from the boys and figure out who actually wants to be in the playoff con uh, conversation and who doesn't. I think the Toronto Raptors are definitely a team that's going to want to be in that playoff conversation, you guys, uh, come year's end here. So I think we're going to get on a little bit of a roll here, especially getting all of our players back healthy. I mean, the, the big three for the Toronto Raptors, if you want to call them that, with uh, OG Ananobi, Fred Van Vliet, and Pascal Siakam, I think all of them went over 20 points. Um, in that game against the Clippers a couple days back there, you guys. So, you know, just nice to see everyone healthy here. I think this is the healthiest we've been uh, since the start of the season. Obviously, uh, to have all three of our big three back together there is huge. If we can get Scotty Barnes back into the fold as well, it's just going to be lights out for this team going forward. Um, and I'm just excited to see what the Toronto Raptors squad can actually do with a healthy, healthy unit out there. Like I said, we haven't really had our full squad this entire season. Obviously, you guys know at the start of the season, Pascal was still sitting out, uh, recovering from that shoulder injury. Um, then we had some guys go down in the protocols. Some other guys get some injuries to them. Ken Birch was dealing with some knee injuries for a while there. Um, OG had that hip pointer injury. He was out for a couple of weeks. So we've just never had a full unit together. Um, so I'm excited to see what, see what we can do over the next couple of weeks. If everyone can stay healthy here, you guys. Should be interesting to see... Uh, you know, how this Raptor squad plays out the rest of the season. I think there's a good opportunity for us to get into that top five, top six seeds. Um, if we can go on a nice little stretch run here to end off the season, then second half of the season here. Um, it's really close in the Eastern Conference right now. There hasn't been a lot of teams that have created a lot of se separation, minus maybe the first two, two to three seeds in the conference. Um, other than that, it's pretty close between the rest of the rest of the teams right now fighting for those last couple of playoff spots as well as the play-in spots. Um, so I think there's a good opportunity for the Raptors to claw claw away and still get back into playoff contention here for the end of the year, try and get out of those play-in spots, get a little bit of a rest while those play-in games are going on um, before the playoffs start. So we'll have to see what happens, you guys. We'll go through some of the keys to victory as well. I kind of mentioned some of them earlier already. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll go and rehash over that real quick as well. I would say the keys to the victory for the Toronto Raptors in this game, you guys, like I said earlier in this video, don't play down to the competition. The Raptors have a bad habit of doing that, not showing up on certain nights when you know, they know they're not playing a very formidable opponent. Um, and that's kind of where we're at with the Knicks situation tonight. So many of their main guys that are going to be missing in action for tonight's game. Um, you know, this should be a hands down, you know, blowout victory for the Toronto Raptors if they play to their potential here. Um, so that's the biggest thing, you know, we don't want to play down. To the, to the quality of the Knicks play. We want to make sure we're just uh, putting them away quickly and early, especially when they got so many uh, mainstays that aren't going to be in the rotation for tonight. This should be a big-time uh, advantage for the Toronto Raptors in this game. Um, another key to the victory I got is dominating the paint, you guys. Obviously, with Mitchell Robinson, their big-time center is going to be out. He's in protocol right now. You also have Nerlens Noel, who's going to be out, another one of their centers. Um, so that just should give all the opportunity to Toronto Raptors to be able to dominate inside the paint, get a lot of easy buckets in close uh, in tonight's game. Um, you know, I think that's going to go a long ways for the Toronto Raptors being able to come away with a victory as well. Um, and then, like I said, uh, with the big three, you guys, if we can get those guys going again, Pascal, Freddie, and OG, I mean, if you can have those guys scoring 20-plus points per game each, there should be no games that we aren't in at least, or if not winning each game. Um, so, you know, if we can get those guys rolling quick, get a guy like Scotty Barnes back into the fold there, facilitate that rock a little bit, play some hard-nosed defense. Um, should be coming out with an easy victory here tonight versus this uh, depleted New York Knicks squad. And then we'll just go through some of the keys to the game for the for the New York Knicks, you guys. I think winning the rebound battle is going to be huge for them. Obviously, um, just giving them more shot attempts as well as uh, stopping the Toronto Raptors from getting running out in transition. Um, which, which will be huge for the New York Knicks. You don't want to try and allow too many easy buckets uh, for this Toronto Raptors squad who loves to run in transition. So that's going to be huge for them to be ripping down them boards, making their shots on the offensive end so there is no rebound for Toronto to grab. Um, or getting that offensive glass for the putbacks as well will be huge for the Knicks. Um, limiting turnovers is also going to be a big key to the victory for the for the New York Knicks, you guys, like I said, Toronto loves the fast break and getting in transition for the easy baskets. So the last thing the New York Knicks want to do is feed the fire um, by turning the ball over a bunch in this game. So they're going to have to take care, of, take care of the basketball if they're going to want to have a chance to win this one. And then the final key to victory for the New York Knicks, you guys, is keeping the game close. Very similar to the Toronto Raptors in those couple games when we had guys on protocol. Just keep it close, man. I mean, we almost had it against Philly there, if you guys remember Back before the Clippers game, we were so close in that one, just couldn't hang on for the for the victory. But we kept it close, and we were within striking distance the whole way. Gave us that opportunity to maybe have a chance to win it at the end of the game. Same thing for the New York Knicks here, man. They just got to keep it close, keep within striking distance. 
um, and maybe be able to go on a little five or ten point run at the end of the game to seal the deal against the Raptors. But this should be the Raptors game, you guys. Uh, should be no doubt about it. The Toronto Raptors should be able to come away with the victory in this one with all the injuries the Knicks are dealing with. Um, so I'll give a little score prediction here. I'll give the final score to the Toronto Raptors, 105-90 to 90 over the New York Knicks in this game, you guys. That pretty well wraps her up for this video. We'd love your guys' opinion in the comments section down below. Uh, what do you think the Raptors' chances are in this game tonight? you think it'll be a blowout victory versus a depleted Knicks team? Or do you think they're going to scrap and claw and make it a little bit better of a game than we expect? I uh, would love your guys' opinion in the comments section down below. Once again, you guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and every video on my channel. Please go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and this is Mizzy with Mizzy Sports Channel.